Hi everybody. Um, for this next page, we're up to page five in the math review packet. I'm going to just do these two questions and then the next page starts a new packet like packet B. So I'll do some new videos for that one. So I'll just finish up with these two questions for now. Um, this question is, is interesting. Um, th what they're explaining to you is how many square feet are in an acre and how many square yards are in an acre. So I'm gonna set it up and just show you. What they're telling you is one acre is equal to 4,000, no, 43,560 square feet. And they're also telling you that one acre is equal to 4,840 square yards. And so they're saying, okay, if you know that these two numbers are both equal to one acre, then how many square feet are in one square yard? So you can use these numbers to figure it out, but you actually don't have to. Um, so the way you would set this up is you would say to yourself, well, if both of these numbers equal one acre, then that means they're also equal to each other because 4,840 square yards is equal to 43,560 square feet. And so what you have to ask yourself is, what would I multiply the square yards by to equal the square feet? And the way that we solve this, this is now an algebra equation. So this is telling you to multiply. So you split your equation, do the inverse operation. So the opposite or the inverse of multiplication is division. So you divide both sides by 4,840. And again, just use a calculator for this. These two cancel and you end up with X equals nine. So that means that there are nine square feet in one square yard. But what's crazy about this question is that you don't need any of this information to answer this question. One square foot is just talking about a box that is one foot by one foot. It's a one foot square box. One square yard would be the same thing except the box is bigger because it's one yard by one yard. And so you have one square yard. If you know that a yard has three feet in it, you can break this up. So this would be one foot, two feet, three feet. And then you do the same going the other way. So this would be one foot, two feet, three feet. And so now this is one yard by one yard. It's one square yard, but it's also three feet by three feet. They're equal because one yard equals three feet. So when they're asking you how many square feet are in one square yard, this is all you have to know. You can just now count them up. So the big box are the yards. How many feet are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one square yard is the same as nine square feet. And that's what we got up here by using these big numbers. But you really didn't need any of this to know that one square yard would have nine square feet in it. This was the most important thing you needed to know, that one yard has three feet in it. For this next question, they're asking you to find a model that represents 140%. So 100% is one whole. 100% is the entire object, whatever it is that you're uh, looking at. So when I look at this first one, letter F, this is an entire box, right? An entire square. It's divided up into 100 little pieces. And so this is 100%. There's another box just like that. That's another 
100%. So this goes to, now we're up to 200%. And then on this model, they these boxes are, they're 10 by 10 arrays. So 10, 20, 30, 40. So this has 40 out of 100 boxes shaded. So that's 40%. So this model actually represents 100, 200, 240%. So that is not the choice we're looking for. For letter G, again, the whole um, picture is shaded, all 100 out of 100 boxes, so that's 100%. And then count these columns by tens, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So this has 60 out of 100 boxes shaded. So that's 60%. So this model is showing 160%. Not the choice we're looking for. Letter H has 100 out of 100 boxes shaded. So that's 100%. And then here we count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, so 40 out of 100 boxes are shaded. 40 out of 100 is 40%. And so for this model, it is 140%, which is what they asked you up here to look for. So this is the correct answer. And then for this one, we'll just verify. So 10, 20, 30, 40 out of 100 boxes are shaded. So this one is just 40%. There's no 100 with it. So that is not the correct answer. It's H.